Bob Greenville. Good morning, Bobby. Yeah, happy Easter. Welcome, man. It's so good to see y'all looking good today. Man, we should be that excited, right? We should be absolutely <coughs> stoked when this day comes. Well, actually, we should be excited about it every day. But this day especially is like the Super Bowl for Christians, is it not? I mean, this is... This is why we gather. This is why we do what we do because of what Christ did on the cross for us. And that is why we celebrate. And we celebrate the fact that he is risen and he is not still in that tomb. And it's even more exciting because we get to experience a baptism, two baptisms today. When people are dedicating themselves to Christ, when they believe and they are baptized, I mean, this is the most important decision that anybody will ever make. It has an eternal impact. How many of y'all watch soccer? Two people probably. All right, but anyway, you've seen like on ESPN on like the re uh, replays where somebody scores. What do they do? Go. Great job. Good, good, good shot. Good shot. No, no, that's golf, okay? <laughs> Listen, when the soccer dude scores, man, it's go! And everybody's running around and taking shirt off and sliding in the grass. Now, do not take your shirt off. All right? You can't slide in the grass. That's fine, okay? But we should be that excited, okay? Now, baptism, what is that? It's, a, it's symbolic. It represents the decision that they're making. It represents what it is that we celebrate. The fact that Christ died and then was risen. And this, this, this baptism is a symbol of that. When you go down in the water, you die. Your old self dies. And when you come up out of that water, you're new. The Spirit is living inside of you. And that is worth celebrating. Now, I'm going to stop talking because I know we got some fellas in here that are ready to get wet. So well, let's have them come down. And I know yeah. 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 Guys, I am so pumped. You guys have no idea I've never baptized anybody, and I am so pumped. I'm so excited for this day. Uh, I hope I can just get this out when I got all my heart to say. But um, Krista Spain has, has decided to make this, uh, this decision um, to serve the Lord. Uh, Chris started coming about a year ago, and uh, I've known Chris since he was probably 13 years old, and this is proof that, that Jesus saves. But, you know, um, Chris has been uh, uh, on my heart, and, and Chris is uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful testimony to give you guys. But uh, this is a man that has cheated death, but nothing like what he's going to do today. That's right. Like, this is the day that Jesus cheated death. This is the day. This is what we represent as Christians as the day that death has no sting anymore. Romans 10.9 makes this so simple. If you confess it out loud and you believe in your heart, if you confess it out loud that Jesus is your Lord and you believe in your heart that God rose him from the grave, you're saved. It's that easy. It's that simple. He wants a relationship with us that bad. So I'm so excited to be able to do this with Chris today. I want to thank y'all for coming today and witnessing this. Uh, I'm not a very elegant speaker, as you can tell. Uh, if, for those of you who don't know me, I, I typically sit back in the back. I think Lauren James is sitting in my seat right now, though. <laughs> <laughs> no. This has been a long time coming for me. For I mean, I turned my back away from the Lord when I was a young man and uh, thought I could do things on my own. Thought that I didn't need the Lord, that I could just handle this. And it wasn't until I, I decided, you know, on my own that I was going to go into the service and really didn't care what happened to me because I could take care of myself. And uh, <laughs> let's just say when you're, when you're in a war zone 
in combat and uh, you start second guessing yourself because you realize you can't take care of yourself. Can't take care of anybody. <clears throat> and it was there that I picked up the book and I started reading in between missions. And I like to say, I didn't have an easy job. I, I searched for IEDs. You know, my job was a Polish minesweeper. I went out when something blew up, then you know, that was my job. And every time I got blown up, I could feel the rush of Christ come over me. And I just hear in my head, get back up, you're still breathing. He's not done with you. Get back up. You're still breathing. He's not done with you. And to this day, I, I try to express that to my little boys. Because, and you can ask Liam. He's sitting up here in front. When you fall down nine, you get up what? Yeah. And if you're still breathing, what? The Lord's not done with you. So, I'm going to keep it short and sweet, and I'm going to do this. Thanks, y'all. Sweet, short questions to answer you. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? Yes, I do. And do you believe that he died and rose again? Yes, I do. By the power of your confession, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for the forgiveness of your sins and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Like Bobby said before, we're going to have two baptisms today. <coughs> and uh, the reason for this is my son, Nicholas, is going to get baptized as well. So here we go. My shoulder's kind of bony. i got to use my right hand. <laughs> Thank you.